Hello guys and welcome to our channel. In this video we're going to talk about sweet potato farming. The sweet potato is a diconolidonous plant that belongs to the bindweed or morning glory family Convolvulaceae. Sweet potato is native to the tropical regions of the Americas. Its large, starchy, sweet-tasting tuberous roots are used as a root vegetable. Sweet potatoes are usually ready to harvest just as the ends of the vines begin to turn yellow or just before the frost in the north. To avoid injuring tubers, find the primary crown of the plant you want to dig. Then use a digging fork to loosen an 18-inch wide circle around the plant. Sweet potato is a nutritious root crop that contains significant amounts of fiber, beta-carotene, and vitamin C, particularly in varieties with highly colored roots. This crop thrives during summer's warm days and nights, which are required for optimal growth and root development. When sweet potato is managed properly, it has the potential to be one of the more profitable vegetable crops grown in the USA. It can be stored for several months when cured properly and held under proper conditions making it possible to market sweet potato through an extended period of time. That said, it's not a get-rich-quick crop, since it requires significant commitments of capital, time, and management to make it profitable. Even with the use of mechanical harvesters and other production technology, labor requirements are about 60 man-hours per acre. Sweet potato production is not recommended for growers who do not plan to grow the crop for several years. Profitable production practices include using good seed stock or purchasing certified slips, selecting suitable soil, following good production practices including fertility, irrigation, pest management and careful harvesting, handling, curing and storing of sweet potato roots. Yields of sweet potato can vary considerably due to site, soil, weather and crop variety. Under ideal conditions, very high yields can be attained but more likely yields will range between 300 to 350 bushels, each bushel being about 50 pounds, per acre. Another aspect of marketable yield to be considered are other classes of marketable roots, including canners and jumbos, which will provide additional income for producers if markets are available or can be developed. Sweet potatoes produce best in a well-drained light sandy loam or silt loam soil. Rich, heavy soils produce high yields of low-quality roots and extremely poor, light, sandy soils generally produce low yields of high-quality roots. Both surface and internal drainage are important in selecting a field. Poor surface drainage may cause wet spots that reduce yields. Poor internal drainage will also reduce yields. Soils with poor internal drainage are characterized by a high moisture content and poor aeration which cause sweet potato roots to be large, misshapen, cracked, and rough-skinned. A three to five year rotation program should be used to reduce the chance of soil-borne disease problems. Regular field inspection is needed to determine when to harvest. Sweet potatoes can be harvested anytime after a sufficient number of roots have reached marketable size. The price for uncured potatoes in late August and September may be high enough to justify sacrificing some yield to begin digging and marketing early. If the crop is to be stored, harvest just before frost to maximize yields. When soil temperature falls below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, some damage to root quality and reduction in their worth for storage and slip production will result. Chilling injury can occur even though a frost has not occurred. In cool weather, remove all dug potatoes from the field before nightfall. Prevent sun scald by removing or protecting harvested potatoes from the sun. A 30-minute exposure to the sun can cause sun scald, reducing quality. Most mechanical harvesters require vines to be cut with a rotary motor, or otherwise removed to prevent interference with digging. Small acreages can be dug with a turning plow or a middle buster. For a large planting, a three-point hitch chain-type digger is best. Complex harvesters are now available for large acreages. These require little labor and deliver potatoes directly into containers. Regardless of the equipment used, it should be adjusted and operated to minimize skinning and bruising. Field grading is important. Sweet potatoes to be stored for later marketing or for seed stock must be cured immediately after harvest to minimize storage losses. Do not wash potatoes to be cured and stored. Curing involves controlling temperatures and relative humidity and providing ventilation for 7 to 10 days. Curing is a wound healing process which occurs most rapidly at 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 
a relative humidity of 85 to 90 percent, and good ventilation to remove carbon dioxide from the curing area. Wounds and bruises will heal and a protective cork layer will develop over the entire root surface. In addition, suberin, a waxy material, is deposited. The cork layer and suberin act as a barrier to decay-causing organisms and to moisture loss during storage. Post-harvest processing of sweet potato involves grating and sorting, cleaning, peeling, drying, or secondary processing and storage. Commercial utility of sweet potato is comprised of conventional and composite ingredient-based foods, starch, and industrial products. Grading and Marketing Whether marketed from the field or from storage, fresh market sweet potatoes are usually washed, grated, and often waxed before marketing. Poorly shaped, diseased, and damaged roots should be graded out to make a good-looking pack. Buyer requirements for grade and size must be met for repeat sales. Fresh market sweet potatoes are usually packed in 40 or 50 pound cartons. Small acreages of sweet potatoes can be marketed by pick your own methods. Only dig potatoes that will be picked up by customers during the next hour to prevent sun scald injury. Farm to school programs, roadside stands, farmers markets, and local stores are other possible markets for small producers. Some processing potatoes are produced in Oklahoma. Be sure to determine processor requirements prior to production and delivery. There may be size restrictions on processing deliveries or potatoes may be delivered field run with culls removed. When do we harvest sweet potatoes? When to harvest sweet potatoes depends largely on the seasonal growing. If growing season has been good with adequate water and sunshine, harvesting sweet potatoes should begin about 100 to 110 days after planting depending on the variety. A good rule of thumb is to watch for the first signs of yellowing leaves. Usually this occurs in late September or early October before the first frost. How are sweet potatoes harvested commercially? Large growers use a raised row-shaped flail mower or a vine snatcher with coulters to cut the vines. Harvesting sweet potatoes when the soil is too dry increases skinning incidence, so harvest when soil separated easily without large clods. How long can sweet potatoes be left in the ground? The tuberous roots should be harvested by the time frost kills the vines or soon thereafter. Sweet potato roots continue to grow until frost kills the vines. Roots can be left in the ground for a short while, however, a hard frost can cause damage to roots near the surface. What are the benefits of sweet potato? Here are six surprising health benefits of sweet potatoes. Highly nutritious, Sweet potatoes are a great source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals, promote gut health, may have cancer-fighting properties, support healthy vision, may enhance brain function, and may support your immune system. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and you can check out some of our other videos.